Good morning, everybody. I want to share something with you if you were ever thinking about doing one of these carbon fiber hoods on your car. Um, you need to understand that carbon fiber hoods and deck lids are not anywhere near as strong as steel and some crazy things kind of start happening when you start trying to put these things on cars and one of the biggest challenges that I've run into is that the hood hinges for this car that try and open the hood are way too strong if you try and use a stock set of hinges you know I mean they're they're just gonna overpower the hood and probably bust it immediately um, so I'm running a set of, uh, of hood hinges from the folks at Eddie Motorsports I've got, as you can see here, lots of little gas struts. This is the the weakest little gas strut that Eddie Motorsports makes. And what I've found is that if I put that gas strut onto my hood hinges there, what ends up happening is in the closed position, the hood hinge is still trying to open the hood, not necessarily by a lot, but by enough that it's trying to open it anyway. And when you've got it secured in the front, as I do in the case with these, uh, these little hood pins you see right there, what ends up happening is your hood hinges basically try and bow your hood. So if you have a look at my hood, you'll notice that it now has an arch through here, and I have bowed the entire hood to where I have a peak in it. Like, look if I set this piece of metal, uh, excuse me, wood right there, you can see, see what I mean? The gap right there? Just this, this massive, massive gap. And so now I've got to try and straighten my hood and deal with, you know, what am I going to do about these hood hinges that are ultimately too strong? I think I have an idea, and I'm going to show you what I'm going to try to do. So my idea is basically that I kind of need to, like, re-engineer the hood hinge. I need to change the way uh, the force operates on this hood hinge, and that I want it to be holding the hood in the up position, uh, you know, but at the same time, you know, I, I don't want it to try and open the hood at all in the down position. <laughs> if you go look in the front seat of my Corvette out right, uh, outside right now, I've got, like, three or four sets of, uh, you know, little uh, Vepagoo uh, gas struts that I've ordered on Amazon. I've been trying one strut after another after another, trying to find, you know, struts that I could connect from here to here that were, that were ultimately the right thing. And basically what I came to the conclusion to in trying all of these different struts is that if I went with one, you know, that was weak enough that it didn't try and open the hood in the down position, well, then it had no ability to hold the hood up in the up position because it wasn't strong enough. So it became obvious to me that the mechanics of the pushing of the strut are what's all wrong in this situation. So here's what I'm going to try and do. I've drilled a hole into my hood hinge right here, and I've got myself a little gas strut, and I'm going to make a, uh, a new CNC mount this morning that's going to mount to my inner fender right here of my Detroit Speed inner fender, and I'm basically going to change the way this works. If you have a look at this picture right here, you can see that this is a shot from inside the car, and, you know, I, I basically just put my camera in the car and use that photo to try and figure out, okay, where does this strut need to connect to so that it's not going to be pushing in any way in the down position, but it will in the up position. So that's the idea. That's what I'm going to try and do. We'll see what happens. So I'm fixing to cut uh, my uh, little CNC part that I drew up. I'll show it to you here in this uh, shot from uh, uh, Fusion 360 where I drew it up in the computer. Now it's time to cut it in my little four foot by three foot plasma cutter right there. I'm fixing to fill it up with water, but I just wanted to share something with you before I do this. This little table comes with like a little stainless steel water table, and I gotta be honest with you, that thing is absolutely no good. I built a water table uh, 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 for mine out of eighth inch aluminum and then just bent it and put little welds, you know, down here at the corners so that it's one solid piece, sits nice and flat. If by any chance you guys are ever thinking that you're interested in one of those, those little uh, Langmeyer Systems plasma cutters, CNC plasma cutters, I totally recommend it, but I also totally recommend throwing the water table that it comes with in the trash on day one and make your own water table because that thing leaks. This one is nice and solid and I highly recommend it. All right, here's the part that I made in the CNC. I'm gonna uh, media blast it and put a couple of bends into it to kind of put it into like a U-shaped uh, piece. And then I'm just gonna weld it right there, tack weld it to the inside of my uh, inner fender and mount my shock to it, do that to both sides. And we're gonna see if we don't finally solve this problem of the whole hood hinge, carbon fiber bow, blah, blah, blah. This sucks. 
quick trick that I'll share with you. If you want to put a bend in eighth inch thick material and you want it to be a nice tight bend and you don't really have the tooling for, you know, making a really crisp, you know, bend, uh, one easy way to kind of trick and get around that is to take your part right here and cut yourself a little slit into it. You see right there, I just kind of cut about maybe three quarters of the way through it or so, something like that. That will make that thing bend uh, just way tighter. I will have to put a little weld in the back side of this, but you'll never see that anyways, and it'll be just a really nice tight bend. That's kind of uh, one of those ways that you can get around, you know, not having a great big beautiful piece of equipment that makes a really nice tight bend. That's how I get around that. You ever heard that phrase in hot rodding, it's that nice because we build it twice? So I built the first bracket right there, five holes in it, and I just wasn't happy with it. It just wasn't a nice tight fit. It was gonna be bigger than I wanted it to. So rebuilt it with three brackets, made the little ears on the side right here, you know, uh, a lot smaller. And at the end of the day, just gonna mount that, weld it right there. So uh, go ahead and do both sides, get it on there. Let's see what we got. Check this out, I got the first little bracket tack welded into the car, but I just wanted to show you again, if you're going to remove material with a grinder so you can make a nice tight bend like that, be ready to put yourself a few welds on the back side. If you don't, that part is going to fail when you run off and remove all that material and then bend it. You've got to add some weld to the back side or it's never going to hold up. Okay, there's the finished product. Got them on both sides. So what I've basically done here is just change the way the hinge, you know, kind of operates. Now I have all of this force that's pushing back, holding the hood up in this position. But if I switch to this shot, you can see how the strut is not actually trying to open the hood when it's in the down position. So this is really awesome. So check it out. This is what I was going for. The hood is holding itself up, but I pull a little bit of force, a little bit more, a little more, and right about right there there is the point that the uh, you know the, the the hood hinges are not really uh, you know supplying it much upward force anymore and as it comes down I get here to the bottom to the point where you know I, I'm having to completely support the weight of the hood in order to pick it up so you can't feel it but I can you know I'm, I'm pretty much lifting the entire hood right there which is very light I mean it's only like 18 pounds for this entire carbon fiber hood but what it's doing is making it so that back here my hood is no longer trying to open itself and trying to push this up as well as bow it through there. So, man, that was a uh, that was a win right there. Um, you pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. And finally, it gets to about right there, and I feel it where the hinges, you know, the gas struts start to uh, start to to do the job. I ended up switching to um, 35 pound struts. I started off with 69 pound struts in there, and it was obvious those were going to be way too strong. I did shorten this little bracket here and give myself three mounts because I'm just a believer in adjustability. And so anyways, there we go. Three mounts welded to the inner fender, <laughs> three mounting locations welded to the inner fender and 35 pound struts. And I'm, uh, I'm happy with it. I think I finally got this problem solved of my Eddie Motorsports hood hinges trying to destroy my carbon fiber hood. So I hope that helps somebody out there. Hey, check this out. Next week, I'm going to be filming a video in the shop that I'm crazy excited about. That right there, in that box, is a creeper. And it operates on a couple of Milwaukee batteries. It's a motorized creeper where you lay down on it, you go under the car, you come back out, you flip a switch, and it picks you up and raises you up into a seated position. I'm super excited to uh, test that thing out next week. And... Uh, shoot the video of it, so keep an eye out for that one. Appreciate you guys watching. Y'all have a great one. Take care.